Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I'm talking to you about a paper um, published by Mooney et al. in Gastroenterology. This paper, recently published, describes what's termed ultra-short celiac disease. What does this mean? We know celiac disease primarily affects the small intestine. The in small intestine is about 25 feet long, and celiac disease affects the top part of this. The length of involvement can vary quite a bit. This study describes what's called ultra-short celiac disease, where it's just the very topmost part of the duodenum, what's called the duodenal bulb. That's the first part of the small intestine immediately after the stomach. And traditionally, most diagnoses of celiac disease are made on biopsies taken further into the duodenum, so a little bit further, maybe around the corner, uh, from where the bulb is. This study shows that almost 10% of patients with celiac disease have disease that's largely confined to the bulb of the duodenum. Now, do these patients with ultra-short celiac disease differ from the patients with regular celiac disease? They are younger, they're less likely to have diarrhea as a symptom, their antibody tests are perhaps lower than those who have got more complete celiac disease. Um, and also they're much less likely to have malabsorption. So what does this mean for practice? Well, it means we have, to con we have to be aware that celiac disease may affect just the duodenal bulb. Including a biopsy from the, small, from the duodenal bulb will increase our rate of detection. And this is especially important in patients who have positive blood tests for celiac disease. Because we don't want to end up with patients who have a positive blood test for celiac disease. We take biopsies from too far down the intestine and perhaps miss this disease that's limited, at, at least at the time it's found, to the duodenal bulb. Thank you.